Do you have a dream? Do you have a dream to launch your own business? Ask for a promotion at work? Or finally write that book you wanted to write? But you find yourself held back by a nagging doubt that whispers you're not good enough. Well, let me tell you, you're certainly not alone. (laughs) Every successful entrepreneur or best-selling author experiences imposter syndrome. What is imposter syndrome? It's basically just a fear. It's a fear of being exposed as a fraud. It's persistent. It's a persistent feeling of self-doubt and inadequacy, despite evidence of success and talent. Isn't that interesting? That's a that's the actual definition of imposter syndrome. Despite the proof that you are successful or you have talent, we still have as the human condition this internal message of imposter syndrome. Like we have a goal, we're attaining it, we want it, we have this desire, and we feel like we're a fraud playing that role. Well, no wonder we feel like we're a fraud playing that role. We're not there yet. We're not at that level yet. So imposter syndrome must take place and run its course in order for you to get to that next level. It's normal. So let's talk about how we can manage imposter syndrome. And here's six ideas, because the good news is that you can overcome these feelings. They're just feelings. Imposter syndrome are just, it's just feelings. And you can step confidently into your role as a business owner, an author, or getting back on the dating sites again. You can do it with the right mindset and the right support. You know, in 1994, I embarked on a journey that would totally change my life. I launched a speaking business. And at that time, my primary role were of a school teacher, and a mom. I had no formal training in public speaking or even in business. And every time I stepped onto the stage, I battled with the voice in my head telling me, you're just a teacher, Lisa. You're just a mom, Lisa. Imposter syndrome all over the place. (laughs) I even heard, you know, who do you think you are speaking to this audience, especially speaking to men? Because I came from the era or the generation of girls should be seen and not heard. The fear of being exposed as a fraud was overwhelming for me back then. I I questioned my abilities, my worthiness, and my right to share my message with the world. However, I also felt a deep calling, a calling to step outside my comfort zone and make an impact beyond the classroom, beyond being an elementary school teacher. And so I decided to write my first book, Conquer Fear. Good title for myself. (laughs) It was a significant undertaking, but I knew it was a story that needed to be told. The book now has sold over a quarter million copies. It's available in 11 languages worldwide. Now this accomplishment was a testament to the power of overcoming self-doubt and pushing through imposter syndrome. Writing that, that first book, now I've written six, but writing that first book not only changed my life, but also allowed me to inspire countless others who have faced imposter syndrome. So let's talk about what you can do right now, starting today, six steps to overcome your imposter syndrome. So you can walk through life, walk through your goals with more confidence. Through personal experience and research, I discovered these six strategies. Number one, I want you to acknowledge your feelings. Yeah, the first step in overcoming imposter syndrome is to recognize and acknowledge them. Just to say it out loud. Wow, I feel like a fraud. Wow, I'm 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 dealing with imposter syndrome. Oh, this is what imposter syndrome feels like. <laughs> I have feelings of self-doubt. It's okay to feel this way. The biggest problem is when you make a problem of that problem. And don't tell anybody, not even yourself. Let me just suppress that. Let me just act cool. No, I'm feeling nervous right now. Just by saying it, I promise you, you release the subconscious power it has over you. So it's okay just to say you feel fear or you have stress or you have anxiety or you're feeling imposter syndrome. 
Many successful entrepreneurs and authors, all of them, have experienced similar thoughts. So just say it, share it. And during my early days of my speaking career, I learned to acknowledge my feelings of inadequacy and I used them as a catalyst to help others. Like I would just come up on the stage and open with my opening and then I would just say, man, I'm feeling fear right now. And it just brought the whole audience right there in the palm of my hand and in the middle of my heart. Idea number two to bust through imposter syndrome, embrace your unique voice. Stop trying to be someone else, sound like someone else, walk like someone else, and just embrace your uniqueness. You know, every entrepreneur, every writer has a unique voice that they bring to the world. And your perspective is what makes your story special. It's what makes your company special. It's what makes your clients or your future clients want to work with you because they can't find that secret sauce anywhere else but with you. So embrace your individuality and work it, like shout it from the mountain and let it be the core message of what you share with others. Trust that your experiences and insights will resonate with your readers, with your clients, it will. People can feel authenticity. As a formal, former teacher and a mom, I'm still a mom, I realized that my life experiences provided such a unique perspective that audiences could relate to and learn from it. So when, as soon as I just started accepting and embracing my own uniqueness, my own quirks, my own way of thinking and way of being, wow, it was really powerful to see that authenticity translate with a connection in my audiences and my readers. Idea number three to bust through imposter syndrome, set realistic goals. Now listen, I'm a mindset coach. I'm all about creating the vision board. I have one here, I have one here. They're, they're in the back of my computer. I see my beautiful big vision all the time through my vision boards, my action boards. And I set realistic goals for myself. I wanna win. I wanna put my head on the pillow every day and feel like I'm a winner. And the only way I can do that is yes, set goals that stretch me, but I set realistic goals that I can win so that I always feel like a winner. So just break down the writing process, break down what it takes to launch your product, break down the steps to get on a dating site and start dating again. Break it down into manageable steps. You know, I have note cards like this that I put all over my life. Every morning I just get up and look what I wrote down the night before. You know, eight top things to do today eight uh, ideas that can move the needle forward. I just put down eight things, manageable steps every day. So setting small achievable goals will boost your confidence and it really helps you maintain momentum because you can do a lot, a little time, a little bit each time, a little bit each day. You know, in my speaking business, I, I set incremental goals and it helped me build confidence and credibility over time. Idea number four, to bust through imposter syndrome. I want you to seek support. Hire a mindset coach, whether it's me, Lisa J, or someone else, but hire a coach. I had a coach, I still have a coach. In fact, I have three coaches right now, a financial coach, a business coach, and a spiritual coach that keep me accountable. They keep me, they keep me sharp. So hiring a coach can be so beneficial for you. Your coach will help you navigate that the emotional challenges, the day-to-day -day tasks. They'll help you expand uh, and see things you can't see. So it will help keep you focused, keep you focused on your goals, keep you accountable, and then break through your comfort zone because they're gonna give you ideas that you can't see. Remember, you can't see the picture when you're part of the frame but your coach can see the frame and the picture. <laughs> your coach can provide strategies to boost your confidence, help you develop develop your, your resilient mindset. You know, I again, I worked with coaches when I launched my, my company 31 years ago. His name is Randy Gage. He's still a good friend of mine today and mentors me today, but man, that coach, I, I worked with him every single week, sometimes daily to launch 
my business. And then when I started writing books, he helped me launch and write each book. Idea number five to bust through imposter syndrome. I want you to partner with the right partner. So the right employees, the right clients, the right people around you. And you know, you get to choose this. Don't work with people just because they wanted to work with you and they have a credit card. You know, I want you to really be choosy. You can create whatever you want in your business, in your dating life. You can, you find the right publisher, whether it's our publishing company, Hope Publishing House, you, you can have whatever you want. So never settle. You gotta partner with the right people. When you're hiring your first team member or your 10th team member or your 100th team member, these partners, they're like family members. They need to be the right people. And the right people mean, yes, they challenge you and they, they complement your gifts and talents. But man, you like them. You trust them. You want to hang out with them. You would hang out with them whether you hired them or not. So you want to partner with the right people, the right publishing company, supportive, accomplished in, in, in their skill set, confident in their skill set. You know, it just, it helps navigating this thing called writing a book or launching a business or getting to the next level of your business. So really partner with the right people. Be choosy who your clients are. You want to work with people who just inspire you every day. Like you can't wait for the coaching call because you get to help them grow as they help you grow. Idea number six, to bust through imposter syndrome. I want you to pray and meditate. Prayer and meditation, this mindfulness. If you have that practice five minutes every single morning and grow into an hour if you want, if you can. But that prayer and meditation time can provide a profound sense of peace and clarity. It is the most important thing you can do to retrain your brain and to create these new mind shifts, these new neuro uh, transmitters, these new connections in your brain that you literally are teaching your brain how to be how to receive information, how to show up in the world, how to think. Talk about harnessing the power of your mind and your mindset. Now, how do you do that? Meditation, prayer, in solitude, practicing seeing what you want to see. So rehearsing who you want to be. This just brings you every single morning this profound sense of peace and clarity, helping you to be, overcome the anxiety and self-doubt that's inevitable in imposter syndrome. Here's how you can incorporate these practices. Ready? Daily meditation. Just spend a few minutes each day in quiet. You know, the actual definition of meditation is become familiar with. So you're just becoming familiar with what you're thinking about. Familiar with how your mind leads you. Familiar with your breath, meditation. Become familiar with. Familiar with your spirit. Familiar with your source. Connection to God. Connection to your source. So just this sense of focusing on breath. You can let go of negative thoughts. You practice mindfulness, it will help you cultivate everything you need to reduce stress and to bust through imposter syndrome. So just meditate. When you're driving in the car, turn off the radio and just focus on your breath and instantly gratitude will pop up. Instantly gratitude will pop up because that is your natural nature. That is your source bubbling up that's right there always for you so meditation also affirmative prayer i use affirmative prayer to build my confidence so instead of asking for change i affirm the positive qualities that i wish to embody such as courage thank you for making me courageous creativity thank you for making me creative today help me to see creative solutions self-assurance thank you for being my rock. Thank you for bringing inside me the self-assurance, the courage, the capacity I need today to be my best, the best version of myself for my clients, for my, for my children, for my prospects. So meditation and prayer. 
I love gratitude journaling. So let's add this in this idea. So reflect on what you're grateful for every day. Writing it down is so powerful. There's something viscerally from training your brain to actually writing out your gratitudes, your blessings. It can shift your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life. This is gonna boost your mood and confidence like nothing else. Research published in the Journal of Clinical Psychology shows that meditation can enhance self-awareness and reduce symptoms of anxiety and even depression. And prayer can provide results, comfort, strength in challenging times. So by incorporating this mindfulness, prayer, meditation, journal writing of gratitude. You get to tap into this deeper sense of purpose and confidence. I call it your spiritual nature. That just is gonna take you far each and every day. How to train the brain to overcome imposter syndrome? Well, research shows that intentional strategies actually retrain the brain. So what does that mean? I want you to intentionally create new ways of being. I'm gonna be intentional with just, I know what I want. So when your spouse says, where do you wanna go for dinner tonight? You say, I want Mexican. I want uh, Indian. Because you are intentional with your choices. How you do one thing is how you do everything. So practice being intentional. Practice knowing what you want. That's how you retrain a brain and overcome feelings of inadequacy and imposter syndrome. So let's talk a little bit about cognitive reframing. I want you to retrain your brain by changing the narrative. So instead of thinking, I feel like I'm a fraud, reframe it to I'm learning and I'm growing. This is just positive self-talk. It can profoundly shift your mindset from one of being or feeling inadequacy to one of just growth. I'm just growing. I'm proud of myself for growing. And then as we always say, gosh, just embrace your mistakes, you guys. Viewing mistakes as opportunities for learning rather than a failure that you gotta beat yourself up over or like even hide from others. No, it's just embracing it all. It can help alleviate the fear of imposter syndrome. Published in the Psychological Science found that people who perceive their mistakes as learning opportunities are more likely to succeed and feel competent in that success. Mentoring provides guidance and encouragement and accountability, which can be just invaluable to overcome imposter syndrome. It's normal to have imposter syndrome. It means you're growing. Research shows that mentoring and hiring a coach can enha enhance your personal development and shave years off your learning curve. So why hire a mindset coach like me, Lisa J Coaching? A mindset coach can help you identify and challenge your limiting beliefs and then, and then just fuel your confidence. So whether you hire me as your mindset coach or someone else, I want you to put that at, you deserve it. Like just carve out that time, carve out that investment, carve out that promise for yourself that you are going to hire a coach to keep you accountable, to help you see things that you can't see, and to help you grow your company and grow yourself on a consistent basis with your weekly coaching calls. Because I'm telling you, that is exactly the key to what created my success, both in speaking, coaching, writing books, becoming an international bestseller. I had a coach, still have coaches today. So imposter syndrome, you guys, it's normal. Let's embrace it. Let's not hide it. Let's really focus on these six ideas to help you embrace imposter syndrome, bust through it so that you can show up every single day as you're the best version of yourself. And then you can achieve all the dreams that your heart desire, that you deserve. And when you succeed, everyone around you succeeds. Do you get that? When you win, everyone wins. You're the conduit. You're the example for everyone in your life that, wow, if she can do it, I can do it. If he can do it, I can do it. So let's, let's just empower the heck out of people and set goals diligently work on them with them with your coach and let's just achieve success 
and be the bright light that the world needs us to Are be. Are you ready for your mindset reset? Well, then just go to lisajcoaching.com.